It's so cute. It's got the little braid. Ava Estelle Magic's Cream. I kind of want to make a charcuterie board. I did stop off at Starbucks. Like, I am in a little grumpy mood about it, but. Oh! Eunice. Oh, that's nice. That is £85. What the hell are you talking about? I'm in love, bitches. I love this book. This is the finished product, Gold Mirror. It definitely adds some colour to the room. I actually don't know what this does. Really nice. Like, shut up. Like, I hate people like that. God bless you, course fam, wherever you are. So, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, I'm Angelina. If you're not, welcome back. And let's get into today's vlog. So, today's Monday. I don't actually have a vlog schedule for this vlog. I just said to myself, let me start vlogging anything and everything. Let me stop overthinking things because that's the reason why it's taking me long to produce. Anyway, so I'm going to the gym. The time is 8 or 7 in the morning. I woke up at 7 15. I actually set this alarm, and this alarm is going to go off every day at the same time. Set my alarm that says, wake up, girl. So I woke up at 7.15 today. I think I woke up earlier than that. It's gonna go off every day Monday to Saturday because that's the time I'm gonna wake up and then Sunday is gonna be my day that I just relax. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to the gym. It's definitely a bit late. Like I know eight o'clock seems early to some of you guys, but it's late to go to my gym because it's gonna be full. But nevertheless, I'm gonna push through. I'm gonna go. I have on my cute gym outfit. My hair is nice. I've got my um band underneath because the edges still have to get laid. This is my little hairdo. Um this is so cute it's got the little braid i've been rocking this since last week and i really really like it so yeah i think this is so cute it's such a cute gym hair and then you've got the little edges coming out the side i did my skincare i cleaned up for the morning um i've got on this gym jacket this is from topshop i got this years ago because you know topshop ain't around no more so you can't find this but if you do it's a gem and then i got on these yoga pads that are from shein it doesn't really match but that doesn't matter because it just doesn't matter. Today's vlog is just going to be a really chilled vlog, a really relaxed vlog. Yesterday I did a Sunday reset. I was going to vlog it, but I think I'll do a Sunday reset another time because there's definitely things I want to get in my Sunday reset, like vitamins and like skincare stuff that I want to show. That's why I haven't done a Sunday reset. But yeah, yesterday that's what I was doing. Tashi is staring at the window. Babe, come. Say good morning, Cashew. Say good morning, honey buns. Good morning, aunties. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the gym. I might get a juice after the gym. I don't know. And I'm thinking if I should go to Ikea today. I don't know. Probably won't go to Ikea today because I just can't be bothered for the drive, honestly. But I was thinking because I do need to get that other lamp. And there is something for my hallway that I need to get. When I come back from the gym, I'll make a to-do list because I really don't know what I've got going on today. I do know I need to answer emails. I need to speak to my supplier. And I need to do some business stuff for my business. If you don't know, I have a business called Cassel for sure, And I'm a UK loungewear brand owner for women. So if you want to shop, the link is below and the link is in the description bar. Anyways, I'm going to head to the gym and I'll speak to you guys when I get back. Hey guys i finished the gym i had a good session today i worked mainly on arms because that's just that's just like my point that i really want to work on like i don't really care about anything well no i get i care but like i really really care about arms so that's what i mainly worked on today i did some cardio i didn't vlog because the gym is just too full to be vlogging at this time like, mm, like i don't know if i need to wake up earlier but boy i can't vlog at the gym like i want to vlog at the gym to show you guys my routine it's too full and i want to take my camera but it's just it's a bit embarrassing anyways i did stop off at starbucks i got this starbucks drink oh my gosh i've never tried it this is a venti blonde caramel macchiato three blonde roast one semi skim milk white chocolate mocha sauce and two caramel drizzles so i'm gonna insert a picture of it on the screen but let me taste it to see how it tastes uh, i hope it tastes good because i really like i'm gonna try starbucks drinks like i'm gonna try new drinks i've got a whole pinterest folder full of starbucks drinks so I got a lot of drinks to try. I'm actually right next to my yoga place. Um, I go to more yoga. So yeah, I'm next to my yoga place. But I want to get a new location. There's yo more yoga everywhere. If you didn't know what more yoga is, definitely type in on Google. There's a lot of more yoga spaces everywhere. But let me see what this is hitting for. Let me see what it tastes like. Oh my gosh, I've never tried it. I'm scared. I'm actually kind of scared, but let's see. Mmm. Oh, wait. This is definitely a coffee. What? Who did beep in? Not me. This is definitely a coffee. I, you need sugar 
Like, ooh, that, I can't taste no caramel. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take one of my straws because I keep straws in my car and open it and, and spin it because I don't wanna mess it up though. I need to take a picture. Let me take a picture, stir it, come back, try it because, ooh, that's coffee. Like, you need like five pumps of caramel. You need some vanilla syrup. Like, this is definitely very strong. Okay, I've taken a picture of the drink. Let me stir it. Oh my gosh. I did not expect that. Maybe everything's at the bottom. Like, maybe I need to mix all that cream. I'm trying to make sure I get all of the caramel. Okay, now let's try what it's hitting for because, oh my gosh. Oh, it's the bottom. Okay, I see why people like it. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's the bottom. Mm. Take it inspect to try it. Look at me, you know. Oh, it's the bottom. Mm. Let me try the top. It's definitely the bottom of the cup. Once you mix everything, it's nice. This is nice. I would get this again. Venti Blonde Caramel Macchiato, three blonde roast, one semi-skimmed, four white chocolate mocha sauce, two caramel juice. I'll probably add three caramel drizzle, but... Ooh, this is good. Oh, I could taste the caramel. This is so good. That's a good order. I thought, boy, when I first bit it, that was disgusting. Ah, that was nasty. Like, the top of it was just coffee beans. Like, I couldn't even taste no cream just coffee beans but now that i've mixed it this was really nice so definitely get that again i don't know what we're gonna try next i got a whole list i want to try something fruity next i've tried most of the refreshers but i like to try the pinterest ones and this one gets a tick from me definitely definitely recommend but you have to mix it up though you have to mix it up because if you don't it's disgusting oh okay guys so i'm home now and the time is 10 53 about to take kashi out for a walk because she needs to go for a walk. She's so cute. Come, Kashi. I'm about to take Kashi for a walk. She's definitely gonna enjoy this walk because she seems ready. Ew. This Starbucks drink is hitting. Like, I keep drinking it. Like, it's really good. Like, it just needs a good mix. Like, don't get it and don't mix it because if you don't mix it, it's not gonna taste good. Mm -mm. When I get back from taking Cashew for a walk, I need to do my meal prep. Just that I need to set, share the food out in containers. I need to actually make a lunch time and dinner time because I don't have one. I haven't had my breakfast yet, but to be honest, I'm not that hungry. And this week, I'm not trying to snack, so I don't know. What am I going to eat? I'm thinking like, a, oh my God, I just deep that food in the car. <laughs> I just deep. I passed by, oh, bless you, babe. I passed by Aldi and I got some rice cakes and some white paps and some mouthwash so i need to get that out of the car i just realized so when i take cashew out for a walk i'll get it i think i might just have a rice cake or like a bat with some ham i don't know that's what it's giving so yeah we're gonna go for a walk cashew we're gonna go for a walkies and then when we get back we're just gonna share out the food because i need to do that and then i'm going to do my skincare have a shower unwind from the gym probably read for a bit i do need to start ordering some stuff like pajamas girl this girl's always doing something. I do need to like order some stuff, so I'm gonna do that. My room is clean. Who, who would have thought? My room is clean, my bed is made. Who is she? Who is she, please? Mm -mm, come back from the gym, got a Starbucks. I even look so much more presentable on camera. Who is she? Who is she? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I thought about painting this wall today, but it's like every time I say it and then I actually look at it, I'm like, no, I can't do this. I can't do this, babe. Every time I look at it, I'm like, I'm going to do it. And then I'm like, oh, no, I can't do this. Uh-uh, I don't feel like doing that today. I actually feel like I might have to get a task rabbit because I can't do that. Today, I need to make some content for my business page. I've been posting consistently. I post every day. But I need to make some content for my business TikTok. Follow me, Selfish UK. Follow me, Selfish UK, on my business page, on Instagram as well. This is my business Instagram, Cassell Official. So give me a follow. Um, I'm trying to get to a 1,000 followers so I can go on live because I'll definitely use live on this account. Yeah. And also, if you want to shop my business, Cassellofficial.co.uk link will be in the description bar below. Please shop, support your girl, okay? Because I got good lounger pieces and they're very comfortable and they are great quality. Anyways, yeah, so me and Cash are gonna go for a walkies. <laughs> Oh,
I'm back from walking cashew. The time is 11.30 and I'm currently having my breakfast. It's a bit late. Like I need to really do this correctly. Like I need to have breakfast at a certain time. I need to have lunch at a certain time, but I'm always running behind time. Like my wake up schedule is 7.15, but I think it needs to be 6.15. On my lip. Anyway, yeah, for breakfast, I'm having a ham bap, which is literally just a ham roll, and I'm having a caramel rice cake. I got this from Aldi, it's kind of nice, and I was gonna get two of them, so I was gonna have this bap and then two of these, but when I bit it, I didn't like it enough to have two, which is good. That means I wouldn't snack, snack, snack on it. And I got my water, and I'm currently reading again Why Men Love Bitches. I love this book, you can never have too much knowledge of this book like you can reread it again like again and again and again i actually went on my instagram and i said put some recommendations of the book you're reading like what book are you currently reading and there was a lot of recommendations i'm actually going to show you guys what people are currently reading so this is what people are currently reading um i asked and i definitely received so i'm definitely going to look through some of these books what i'm going to do is i'm just going to type up each book online and then if i like how the blurb is looking or i like how the book is looking then i will definitely purchase some of these books because i want to grow my book collection and i really want to get back into reading because it's so peaceful and it just i don't know it just really channels my inner femininity so i definitely want to get back into reading and be less on my phone and on tiktok so far when it comes to the titles the hate you give looks quite good i think i've definitely seen the movie so the book might be just as good but i don't know if i want to read the book on that like that book might be a bit long body keeps the score sounds like a good book as well seven days in june sounds like a good book as well we'll see we'll see i'm definitely gonna look through them but yeah i'm just gonna continue reading my why men love book because i started it last night and it's just it's just the best book ever hey guys i'm fresh out of the shower i oh that was a good shower i've realized that i actually do my skincare three times a day because before the gym after the gym and then evening i'm really channeling my inner femininity you know like i'm really trying to have like a routine a skincare routine a body care routine like, i'm really trying because i don't know i just feel like routine is actually the way of life like and i'm really trying to build one obviously like i said to you this morning my alarm goes off at 7 15 i definitely feel like it needs to go off at like 6 15. i don't feel like 7 15 makes a lot of sense because i mean it does make a lot of sense but doesn't because my time for eating lunch is like limited and then i'm always slow so if i wake up at 6 15 i have more time when i wake up at 7 15 i have less time so that's something i need to think about but anyways yeah let me do my skincare i already washed my face with the la roche Posay. let me even show you that wash because i don't think any of you know what i'm talking about this is the la roche Posay wash that i use this is really good i use it with a facial cleansing brush and then i go in with my skincare routine my skincare routine changes so like in the morning it's a certain routine in the, in the evenings a certain routine but obviously because it's still daytime i do my morning routine this is not my evening routine anyway so to start off i use the ava estelle magics cream this is really good i like it a lot so i'll just put that on my face you're not supposed to use it like this it's just that mine's like kind of stuck to one side so i just apply it like that and to my neck as well I'll rub that in and then oh my gosh there's hair on my face i'll rub that in and it just looks so good like it's a really good cream definitely recommend then i'll go in with my soon jong cream the lighting is so annoying like oh my gosh it's really the iso i don't know what's wrong with my iso lately but yeah i'll use the soon jong and i'll put a bit of that on my face here then i'll use my snail mussin essence i really like the feel of this like i really like it i actually don't know what this does if you know comment down below because i honestly don't know but what i do know is it goes well with my skincare routine and i really really like it on my face i rub that in completely while i'm rubbing i'm also patting it on my face and i move it down to my neck as well i try not to forget my neck i definitely used to forget my neck So after that, I then go in my dark spot correcting glow serum. The lighting is so strong today, but this is what I use after. I usually just put this on my cheeks. So where I really need the dark spots, I put it. Sometimes I put a bit on my forehead. Again, I do the same pattern motion and rub is a routine that works for me i layer mine differently some people layer theirs in another way but this is just how i like to do it i feel like it just works for me two more things that i do i use my bondi sands spf this is what it looks like 
this one is really good i really really like this one i put some of that on try not to put too much i like this one because it doesn't have a purple um outcast i know some of you definitely know what i'm talking about like it doesn't have a purple look to your skin so i really like this one and then lastly i use my beauty of joseon glow deep serum this is what it looks like i'm really 4d korean skincare like it's it's working for your girl this routine works for me some people think this is a lot but i love it it for my facial skincare works for me boy works for me what works for me might not work for you finish off with my laneige lip sleeping mask this is for the night time but i really like how this feels so i use it on my lips in the day like i love how it feels on my lips it just feels so good like i really really like this a lot but yeah that's literally my skincare routine after i get out of the shower in the evening it's quite the same it's just that i probably would use something else to replace like one thing but more or less it's the same um i try to stick to the same thing and i feel like now that i have this la roche Perse wash it's just really good like this is definitely a good starter base i definitely want to get the um what's it called Good of the people youth of the people i'm an inside picture of what i'm talking about right here i definitely want to get this green spinach wash apparently that's really good so i definitely want to try that but yeah so i'm out the shower skincare routine is done i'm actually going to read a bit um i need to figure out what content i'm going to make today for my business page I don't know what content I'm gonna make, but I need to make something. But I definitely wanna take a nap, like. I know I don't need to take a nap, but I really wanna take like an hour nap. <sighs> should I, should I not, I don't know. Sometimes taking them naps really throw you off for the rest of the day, so I don't know. I do know as I need to go and do my meal prep, so. So guys, hello, it's a little bit later. It's currently 10 past 5 p.m. and I just came off TikTok Live and I was speaking to like the people on live about my brand and they want another black and gray. So I was just literally calculating how much pieces I release and I've decided to release black and gray again. Only 60 sets, like if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. If you miss out, I'm sorry. But yeah, I decided to re-release it because I realised that's a colour that everybody seems to want. A bit like upset though because it's like people are saying, yeah, do green, do mint green, do sky blue. And I've done sky blue and I've done mint green and it's selling really slow. Obviously business will be business and you know you can't expect a good turnaround time all the time i am getting sales of course because you see the stock going down but obviously it doesn't sell as much as black and gray now i like black and gray as a business owner i don't like black because you cannot see my brand properly like, there's a c and an o on the chest of the set right let me even show you it is a gray set right there is a c and an o on the set now from here you can still see the cno with the black set you cannot really see it which means that my embroidery on my clothing or my logo does not stand out as much which is why i don't really like black but a lot of people do like black and they want to spend their coin on the black so i have to keep that in mind and you know if you didn't know when you have a business you work for your customers like you can't just release what you want to release like you can come up with the idea and if people mess with it they mess with it but you can't release what you want to release and excuse me even though i was told that you know we wanted mint green and sky blue the same people keep reverting back to black and i've just realized that where i live as well i live in london a lot of the girls over here like black they like simple stuff they're not really you know people that like bright colors and you know coming out of their shell so i do have to cater to them as well so i will be releasing black and gray again i'm thinking to do a darker gray but i'm just going to release the same gray because i don't want no complaints or no pieces laid back and then i've got to keep them for myself so the same gray will be re-released and the same black will be re-released i don't know if it's going to be long sleeve or short sleeve yet they keep asking for long sleeve so gotta give the girlies what they want after this i'm not I'm not doing that like this kind of messes up what I've got going on because I'm supposed to be following like a schedule and it's summertime why am I releasing long sleeve black and gray in summer it's supposed to be pink it's supposed to be cream but you know we'll get there we can always delay my little calendar that I've got going on for my clothing brand but you know it just made me think and it's just a bit annoying like I am in a little grumpy mood about it but gotta get the move on anyway brand is brand business is business but yeah that's what i'm thinking about right now i'm actually about to message emma because i'm thinking to make something else 
um, with my brand. I think it will look really nice, but I'm not going to say it just yet. I feel like it's still early anyway, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to do black and grey. So if you want to get your hands on black and grey long sleeve, still decide if it's going to be short sleeve. I think I'll just stick to long sleeve. But if you want to get your hand on a black and grey set from my brand, Casal Official, therefore keep up to date with Casal Official UK on Instagram and on TikTok because I'll definitely be posting updates. And definitely sign up to the newsletter. Like, it's free. <laughs> you don't have to pay nothing to sign up to the newsletter because the newsletter is where you get an email and i'll tell you what day i'm dropping so you guys can have your coin ready because when i say it's limited if once this one goes you have to wait till winter time to get these colors it will restock december november like you're not getting it again in summer like absolutely actually actually let me not say that let me not say that but i don't really want to be releasing black in summertime like it doesn't work that way but you know black is a color that needs to be around all the time and i totally understand it so that's something i need to remember nevertheless um i'm going to just quickly like chill and watch something i did make some content earlier on tiktok uh, and yeah we'll see how that goes but yeah you know it's just something i'm thinking about it's kind of bothering me but it's not the end of the world yeah i braided my hair because i like to keep my hair in braids just to keep that like little curl um forming on this hairstyle i really think it's cute like it's definitely a cute hairstyle i actually just received the wig let me even show you i just received the wig from eunice hair um i believe this is a highlighted wig i've got two hairstylists to choose from to do this wig which is tia and shavar so tm hair and shavar kelly studios so um i don't know who i'm gonna go to because i did mention it to both of them which is my fault because yeah originally i was gonna go to tia but tia's going away um so i might go to shavar but I don't think Tia's going away on the day that I thought she was, so I'm a bit confused now. But let me show you this wig. This is a highlighted wig. It's a frontal wig. I ain't had this type of wig before, so this will be so cute on me. I definitely need to get some content. I'm thinking to get a picture. I'm thinking to get definitely a picture in my set. Let's see what it's hitting for. Oh, this looks good. This. Oh, yeah. This is really nice. Oh, this is really nice. I think this might look okay on me. Oh, I feel like this might look good. I'm sorry, I don't know who's texting me like that, but I feel like this looks really nice with a light curl. Maybe like a flip over with a, oh yeah, I'm definitely getting some content in this. I'm gonna do a TikTok. I'm gonna do two TikToks. What do they ask for? It's a TikTok collab. So they usually ask for two TikToks, um, showcase TikTok and a tutorial. And then I'm going to get a reel from my Instagram in the set because I need to get some content in my set. What else? I don't know. I'll figure it out. But this is it. I'm going to message Tia now. See, she's in the country to do the wig. And if she is, then I'll just go to Tia only because I did mention it to her first. And then for my next wig, I'll go to Shavar. I really want to go to Shavar as well. Like, he's really good. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do trying to get this wig what day is it today i get this wig done this week but i'm gonna message you and see if she has any availability because i'll have to post this out this definitely is gonna get posted tomorrow i'm not posting this today because it's not even gonna make it in time anyways it's five o'clock and i know that the corner shops and tesco's and all the shops that have parcels delivered have been collected already because it's past hours they collect at one thirty, so i know i'm late so what's going on i'm gonna just chill off and just relax and read because i'm so grumpy about like the blue and sage sets but it's not the end of the world speak to my vendor because we need to get some stuff on the roll to get these sets done um in black and gray well carbon and steel because that's what the colors are called yeah when i do drop carbon and steel if you are interested i will definitely tell the vlog beforehand as well not when i've released the vlog you've seen it and it's gone now because i know this one is gonna go because the girlies keep asking black gray restock black gray restock i need to give a date like i need to give a date but yeah i'll see you guys a little bit later mm -mm. I'll catch you guys a little bit later because someone is dinging my phone and I don't really know who's paying this phone bill because it's definitely me. So, hello guys. Currently 11 o'clock. I should be getting ready for bed to be honest, but I'm busy watching Love is Blind. I actually like it a lot and I wish I watched it sooner. I'm watching season four. Um, I started with season four because it's the most um, popular one right now and that's the one I keep seeing on TikTok. So that's the one I'm watching and then after I just go back and watch the other seasons. I feel like I watched season one before I started season one. I don't know but I really really like it. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys and currently I am on Pinterest and I'm currently planning my birthday. So right my birthday is next month i'm turning 23 and i like to plan my birthdays out this year i feel like i want to spend a solo birthday i think i'm just over the big groups and just 
you know having to chase people down for deposits for stuff or i'm just over it so i think i want a solo b day i think i do i know i already booked somewhere i want to go and take myself not out the country but i did book this little staycation already i booked it since like last month to be honest i did book it um during the week of my birthday so one of those days but I just, I don't know, like, I definitely want to go, I, de I definitely think I want a solo birthday, like, to the point where I'm thinking to do a dinner by myself, like, photographer by myself, then that little staycation by myself, the weekend, now, with the weekend, I'm thinking to do something with my friends, like, either Shisha, Olin, Fort Park, like, just something, but I just don't know, like, I kind of just want to just be by myself, because I just think it's kind of fun. And I feel like once you're alone, this dog just was shaking up her head. Come. I come, baby. Come, baby. Like I was saying, I kind of want to just have an alone birthday. Like, once, like, go somewhere by myself, do something by myself, spend time by myself. I feel like you really have the chance to take in your birthday gracefully. Take in that new age, be alone. And like I said, I'm rebranding again. I rebrand every year on my birthday, but... I'm rebranding this time and I just feel like I feel like this time is the right time like I don't know I did book that place but I kind of want to book an AP instead because I really have like visions like I kind of want to make a charcuterie board and drink wine and roam around in my in my um robe just by myself like I don't want company I actually don't want company I don't want no friends, I don't, I don't want company, I don't want no family, nothing, so be alone, play some music, I want, so I'm kind of fixed on thinking if I should just do a little apartment with like, make charcuterie sure board, cook, maybe make some steak, like cooking, and obviously I'll be vlogging, so it'll be like a solo birthday, like our little solo birthday, or should I go to the place that, the place in Canterbury, the spa place, I'm not a spa person, I don't really like spas, like, if someone offered me a spa, I'd decline. Like, I'm not a spa girl. But it's not a spa. It's a hotel type of place. That's nice because that's a road trip. An hour and something drive. So that's cool too. But true say, that's somewhere you go with a couple. Like, you don't go there alone. <laughs> like, you go there alone. You are a loner. Like, you don't go there alone. I can't lie. But I really want to go there. And they're just always booked out. So it's like, if I manage to get one, then why not? But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Obviously, you guys will see on the vlog, of course. But I'm trying to plan it now. I'm currently in the midst of planning my appointments for my beauty maintenance. Because, you know, that's going to be a good one. Because I've been looking grubby. And I don't know who to go to for my makeup. Oh, God, I even forgot that appointment. I don't know who to go to for my makeup. Last year, I went to Touch by Kanda. She was brilliant. But I kind of want to try someone new. Because why not? Um, I did like Toz Beauty. I do like Slay by T. I do like, there's another one in, in East London. Let me check, because I got everything saved on my phone, boy. Like, I got, listen, let me show you. I have so many folders on Instagram saved for stuff. Like, I have everything, literally. So, who's the makeup person I was talking about? I think it's NH something. Let me see. NH something. NHB Artistry. She's wicked. Yo, this soft glam yeah and i'm trying to do a good photo shoot so this yeah it might have to be her because she's amazing <gasps> are you dumb is everybody dumb in this thing right now in this room even you cash <laughs> so yeah it might have to be her she's good let me see if her slots are out e3 hold on how much is she oh natural glam 60 i definitely need a soft full glam 65 is her june slots out no Wait, there's none available. Does that mean it ain't out? I hope it's not out. 65. I might have to book her. You dumb. 65. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Look at this on oh my girl. She looks gorgeous. This is so nice. She looks so good. Her makeup always looks good and she got a nice face. But boy, this beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to her store. See, that was easy. But let me see the others quickly. Wait, let me put this. Oh, the way she beat him in her face. So nice. Let me... Wait, wait, wait. Let me make it fair. I got a lot to choose from. Like, I got a lot. Even this one I've seen. The Divine Faces. She's quite good. If it's a she. She's quite good. Um, The Divine Faces. Like, this is the softest glam that I'm trying to go for. I don't want something too creamy. Because I did go to Touch by Kinda last year. And I felt like it was very creamy. And the reason I don't want it too creamy is because... 
it will rub off on things so easily. Like you just go like that and there's a cream on your hand. I don't like that. I like it a bit mattified. I'm wearing white this year. I might, I ain't too great with white. So, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, no. Nah. I think, I think I've made up my mind. Toss Beauty is amazing as well. This is Toss Beauty's work. She's really, really, really good. I think it's NHB, you know. NHB artistry. I think it is. I made up my mind. It's NHB still. E3, though. Oh, e three is kind of far because on the day I want to do my hair appointment on the day of my like on the twentieth. I am um, my birthday is on the twenty first, which is the Wednesday. But I'm, I celebrate on the twentieth. Like I celebrate into my birthday. I don't celebrate the day of my birthday. I celebrate into it. This is why I'm thinking maybe I should actually have a little dinner with my friends because going into birthday myself at midnight is just <laughs> that's just. The, oh my god there's one place i wanted to use but you have to decorate it like if you really want it to bang you have to decorate it and i just i don't feel like doing all that decorating it's not even about the money obviously the money is expensive decorating is not cheap but it ain't about the money like, i just don't care for all the decor like all i want is a nice cake and i know who's making that cake i ain't gonna worry about that but where is it there's this like mediterranean restaurant that i want to use but see, like, people have to pay, and you know people are just disgusting, like, when it's time to get deposits, people just, you get it, that's why I'm just over it, like, I'm gonna plan it, because I really don't want to be, like, I don't care to be alone, but at midnight, I don't want to be by myself, I'll start crying, because why am I by myself, then I'll miss everybody that passed away, that, like, that's not here, like, my friends or my dad, like, I just get upset, do you know what I mean? And at midnight, I still won't be home, so it's not like I'll be with my mom and Cassie. I won't be home yet because I would have been eating out. So I would be on the way home, bawling my eyes out. Uh-uh. I don't know. We'll see, because I really do I want a solo birthday, but it's looking like I might celebrate. Guys, I don't know, but that's what I wanted to update you guys. I'm currently planning my birthday, trying to see what I'm doing, because I don't know. I'm watching Love is Blind. By the time my birthday comes we'll obviously know and i'll definitely show you guys what i've got going on you know me i'm trying to have a good birthday this year my fits for my birthday period oh, okay okay i got some gems for this birthday okay exactly exactly that to speak to you guys in the morning i need i set my alarm already i'm supposed to be showered and in bed but i'm chilling i'm chilling i'm gonna go and get ready for bed um, do my skincare again um, my alarm is already set because I need to go to the gym in the morning I think it's set for 7.15 I definitely need to set it for 6.15 because uh, the 7.15 is not working so it's set for 6.15 now so that's the time I'm going to wake up every day now because the 7.15 is just not working for me at all so um, yeah I got gym in the morning what do what am I doing tomorrow let me tell you what I ordered actually let's see what's posted all right I ordered a cable for the light so you know how I said that there's a wire there i don't like it so i ordered a cable um not a cable but like a trucking plastic cable to cover it so let me show you what that looks like it's coming by oh lord i ain't gonna be here anytime soon let me show you this is what it looks like so that people that like get their tv put on the wall they'll usually have that cable me though i have no wires over there on that side so that's why i don't have it i have it in my living room though and then I ordered some gold spray paint because I said I wanted to spray paint that mirror. That's going to be a lot of work because i got to take that mirror outside to spray paint. I can't spray paint in here. I mean, to be honest, I could. Actually, no, I can't. I can't because I need to lay it flat on the ground because I can't do... Like, I just... Yeah. I ordered some headbands and armbands. You know when you wash your face? I ordered those because I needed them. I ordered some cushions as well. I've been dispatched. Child, I ain't getting nothing new in this vlog. I always like to receive new deliveries and I ain't getting nothing. Let me check Amazon. Okay, I ordered a picture light. So you know I got this picture light up there, that black picture light above the LED sign. I ordered that in gold. It's been dispatched. Lord, it's not up for delivery. I ain't getting nothing in this vlog, guys. I'm not happy. What? I'm not happy about that. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys in the morning because I'm just going to be sad now. I don't understand why I'm getting nothing new. Good night. So, oh, good morning, guys. It's six o'clock. Six o'clock in the morning. Let me even show you the time. Six o'clock or ten past six in the morning. I had to open my curtain quickly so you guys can see me a little better. I woke up and I checked my business page on TikTok. And there was one girl in there commenting, this is copy skims, right? This is copy. She copied it like, she copied and pasted it like, 
10 times, isn't it? And do you know what? Yeah, I'm not mad at her. It's weird. She definitely wants attention, but I'm not mad at her because, you know, it is a dupe for Skims. Like, what the hell? Like, anything based around this sort of style is a Skims dupe, unfortunately. Like, Kim Kardashian didn't come up with the idea of having your label on the waistband. However, she's a big brand and she's the first brand to blow up. I'm sure there's so many other brands, even in like Primark or like H&M, that have the label on a pair of leggings like that. Look how many times she copied and pasted it. Like, girl, please. Like, what the hell? And what's funny is I went to her page on TikTok, right? But I'm still a small business. Like, please, I got time. Some people don't have time. I got time. I went to her page. She literally makes dupes of this beanie brand that I know. Like, come on, babe. She literally makes dupes. She could be just trolling. She probably is. She's weird. Dupes for this beanie brand that I've seen before. Look at this. Is that not that brand? I don't know the name. She's lucky I don't know the name because I will comment it. But there's a brand that makes beanies just like this. Like, girl, bye. Listen, there's room for everybody. If somebody wanted to copy me, go ahead. Good luck. But, listen, like, I don't understand, like, I just didn't expect that from her, like, I don't know, like, from a black woman to another black woman, like, babe, there's room for all of us. I could easily keep commenting, my eyes keep watering. I could easily keep commenting on your saying, this is that brand. She's lucky I don't know the name. She's actually lucky I don't know the name because I saw that and I was like, bro, you are copying this other brand that I've seen before anyway, so... You're lucky I actually don't know the name because if I did, I'd literally copy and paste it under all your videos. Anyways, that's a great start to my morning. I don't care. It's just the amount of time she pasted it. Like, we get it, babe. Like, and then she did it on my TikTok as well. That was Instagram. She went on my TikTok and did it and did it on my Instagram. Like, girl, we know. We're not dumb. We can all see. And one thing I always say when people show on a shop my brand and I don't have something in stock, I say, all right, go to Skims. Like... What do you think I'm trying to do? Take away from Skims? No. I can't take away from such a brand. I'm just the black owned version and the smaller version in the UK that we needed over here. Thank you very much. Yeah, 6 starting in the morning. Let me see how much people was in the gym. I didn't even plan to wake up this early because I went to bed quite late. After I was doing like the birthday prep, I was in my office. There's only 23 people. I was in my office trying to sort out my printer. Bro, my printer's moving mad like. Oh, this dog is in here as well. Hi, Cashew. Good morning. Anyways, yeah, my printer's moving crazy. Like, my printer's not working properly. It's just printing out blanks. I've cleaned it out with the alcohol thing because I've got the Dymo printer. I put in blank piece of paper. It's dead, dead. Now it's started to print the label, but just the top bar code, like... So I need to get that working because I have some orders to do. And I need to ship my hair to my hairstylist. And I don't like to write the people's address. Like, I like to print it on a label. That's why I have labels for. I have so many labels. Oh, so after I come back from gym, I need to do that. Today's going to be a good day in terms of orders. My business Instagram is definitely blowing up. So it's not the right time for my printer to start acting up, you know. I'll just go and buy a new one. I'm going to pick up the camera a little later. I just want to check in with you guys and say that it's six something. That girl almost ruined my day and my day just started. And I'm up early. I was supposed to work at like 7.45. I might go back to bed, you know, because I'm tired. Like, my eyes keep watering and my eyes keep closing. I might go back to sleep, guys. Like, my eyes, I'm actually tired. Let me even close back this thing because this thing is just open, like. Mmm. And this dog is going to start walking on me, like. Come, sweetie. This dog always wants some skin to skin, like. She needs to be on your skin, especially in the early hours of the morning as well. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to bed for a bit. I'll call you over. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Bro, I'm not happy, like, again. Listen, I can't reply to everybody that chat shit, but I'm still a new business owner, so unfortunately for me, I just have to reply. So this girl has posted a video and it said, you know, these black businesses need to stop charging outrageous prices, right? She's not talking about me. She's talking about Car Seco because they got a hoodie for like £300, right? This is the girl. I'm sure we've all seen it before. If you're from UK, you've probably seen it before. The video's nice. I even hearted it and thinged it because it's kind of true. When it comes to some things, it shouldn't be outrageous. She's talking about a Car Seco brand. I shop from Car Seco. Yeah, the hoodie's £300, but it ain't something I'm going to be like, oh my God, it's £300 because one day I might want to buy it. Like, it might be great quality. Like, 
I can't justify the price, but yeah, I left it. Cool. This girl has gone on the... Where's the comment? She better have deleted it. If she knows what's good for her, she better have deleted it. Because I'm looking for the comment and I can't find it. Let me close the app. Because I've screenshot it. I'll go back. Anyways, she's gone and said, just seen a girl selling some blue set. Why was the top alone in capitals? 85 British pounds. I laugh for a good six minutes. The top is not 85 pounds. The set is 85 pounds. What the hell are you talking about? Stop trying to be the class clown. Like you want people to giggle with you, bro. The top is not 85 pounds. When you go on the site and you look, soft cotton lounge set. What are you talking about? In, in, in the description, I definitely said that this set like shut up like i hate people like that because she's trying to get a joke out of it bro and 39 people have liked it let me catch you 39 people i wrote egging it on <laughs> now i'm joking about that but for real stop trying to be the class clown like she wanted people to giggle with her and then somebody giggled with her and said because official i just know with like seven laughing faces now this clown even follows me so girl what the hell what the hell and what's funny is the girl that, that the girl underneath yeah i put the screenshot here don't know who you are, but the girl underneath probably even knows that it's not the top alone. She probably knows. If you follow me, I'm promoting a set. The top is 85. Show me the pants that are 85. Like, shut up. Like, I hate people like that. So I replied, I said, the top is, isn't 85 pounds, my love. It's 85 pounds for the set. Stop lying. What the fuck? Because you are lying. You're trying to be the class clown, trying to make people giggle. Then... She goes, stop teething the people their money. 85 pounds for Dega Dega top and leggers of little stitching. Be serious and be for real. I say teething, just say you don't have the money to spend on it. Just scroll past CL. It's definitely not for you. Simple. Because I'm about to go back and forth with you. If you think it's expensive, it's not for you. What the hell? And what's crazy is that everyone that's doing clothing right now and selling sets, how much are the sets? Skims. Vagabond. Bro. What are you talking about? It's only PLT that does cheaper sets. And even that, a set on PLT is almost £55 to £60. Like, but theirs is cheaper because there's a different manufacturer and they got millions of pieces of clothing to sell. I sell two pieces of clothing, a top and a pant. What the hell? I pay thousands of pounds to get my stock. I have to get, make a little bit of profit. And if I showed you the profit, I don't even make that much because I'm not greedy. And the thing is, I need to remember is that not everybody knows me. Like, not everybody knows me. Do you get it? The people that watch my videos know me. The people that I know in real life know me. Or the people that are on the internet don't know me. So she's looking at this like, why the hell would I support this girl's stupid brand? But people on YouTube, people on my TikTok family actually know me and be like, you know what? I actually like Angeline and wish her the best. Yeah, it's a bit pricey or yeah, I can't pay for it. But I'm wishing her the best virtually. Do you use this clown like... Hey, I'm looking for that comment, you know. I can't seem to find it, bro. I got pepper for her. Because why are you chatting shit like... My problem is, is don't run around saying... It's £85 for the top so you can get a few laughs. When the centre of attention is that boy's brand. Don't, don't try it. And at the end of the day, you're not my target audience. If you're complaining about the price... And you're calling it a degger degger top and leggings... You're not the target audience. It's that simple. What you're not buying, someone else is. Are you Are you silly? The last collection sold out. This one is on its way. Like, what are you talking about, babe? Like, and the crazy thing is, if I send her a free set, oh, I love the quality. Oh, da, 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 da. Bye, man. I never had a complaint about the quality yet. Bro, people know what they're paying for. People know what they're paying for. Like, I'm irritated. Where is that comment? Must she better have blocked me? Because I'll go back and forth. I don't want to go back and forth, but I will. Because if you said something like, i seen a girl sell a set for £85, just leggings and top. Okay. I can't even be mad. I'll just say, lol. Shop because I'm official. Like, simple as. But you saying it's £85 to get some laughs for the top. Because she knows it's not. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, what the hell? I think people in the comments need to understand that. Even though something's expensive, because they're not talking about me, talking about Carsico. You're not the target audience, bro. Like, come on. Like, someone is. Someone's going to buy that um, that guy's hoodie for £300. I bet you better people's going to buy it. So, what the hell? Like, and then a girl said, so because it's black business, they should lower their price. And let me even add on to that. That's what people think. People think because they're black, the price should be £20. I, I guarantee you, someone out there wishes my set was about £30 and they'll buy it. Why am I selling a set for £30? Get out of my face, man. Like, I hate people like that. Because I just feel like people want black people's prices to be hella low. And there's another girl complaining about hairdressers in here. Saying a girl is charging £100. 
to install a pre-made wig. Everyone's got their prices, bro. If that's not the price for you, go to someone else. Maybe you want to go to £20 um, slick by Aaron. Like, maybe that's who you want to go to. Then go to Aaron and then your ponytail drops off before you leave the house. What the hell? You lot complaining that wigs is, is, is too expensive to slip down. Well, learn to do it yourself. And to be honest, there's some, bro, the beauty industry, for example, is so big that there's a hairstylist for everybody. There's hairstylists still charging 50 pound for a glue down. There are, you just have to look. But you want the biggest hairstylist of them all to, to lower her prices. Get out, she's past that stage now. Everyone grows up, like, what? Listen, where's that comment? I'm still looking for it and I can't find it and I'm telling you she better have deleted it. What are you talking about? That really pissed me off like oh I can't I can't talk to everybody about this like I can't argue with everybody I can't find this comment I'm looking I'll look I'll look back for it later boy but the girlies that wanna shop shop us are official the girlies that have shop and like the quality thank you for supporting People like this, it's not for you. And that's all it is. I'm not mad at it. I don't ever force nobody to shop my business. I simply say, if you want to support, my link is down in the description bar. Shop because official. I leave it up to the people. I don't be like, guys, shop. Please shop. Shop this. No. Guys tell me you want a colour, I work on it. Like, what, what are you talking about, babe? I'm, I'm irritated. Anyways, on positive note... My business TikTok is at 926 followers and my last TikTok is on 68.3k so we had a little small viral moment, a lot of saves, a lot of send, a lot of site views, um, some sales this morning. Yeah so I'm, I'm feeling good today, I need to go and pack some orders, I need to go and fix my printer because it's still like not working properly. I hope when I get to a thousand followers I can put the link to the website because the link's not in my website, I just read it. Um, I don't know, it's just not working for me. We'll see, but that really pissed me off today. Hopefully you guys can see why I'm irritated. Like I've said, it's not for everybody. Like I don't I don't make clothes for everybody. Like I don't want to be everybody's people pleaser. I'm some people's people pleaser. And the people that understand, understand. And the people that want to shop, the black is coming back in stock. Like the fact like it's just it's just not for you. Ugh, people are so annoying. That's that's wound me up like. And I have no one to vent to except you guys, so no. Right. It is what it is, man. Ugh, I'll come back later. Okay, so I had to order a new printer. I'm irritated, like I'm so irritated. Because that printer that printer that I had, the Dymo, is quite expensive. Like, it's like two something. I've had it since my last business fairs, but I ordered a new printer. This time I ordered the um IDPRT. So let's see. Um, that one better work car. Hmm. It comes today by 10 p.m. So let's see, let's see. I've got orders. I can fulfill them and then print the labels later, but I don't want to do that. And then this label print that comes doesn't work. Obviously, God forbid, I know it'll work, but I don't want to do that. And then this label printer doesn't work. Like, because boy, that's another story. Now I have to physically write on it. And I can't do that, like, I can't do that, so. And obviously you can do that, but the reason I can't do that is because if I'm supposed to be a clothing brand that's selling my items for this amount, fair enough, my quality is really good and it's durable and the girls love it. My packaging also applies, so if I have to hand write my names and addresses on the parcel, it's not going to give, like, so. Yeah, I can't do that, I have to wait for it. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna just, oh God. I'm gonna go and tidy up my office a bit. Them papers are driving me mad. I'm gonna update my laptop while I'm doing that. I'm gonna count up my stock, double check. I'm gonna send out confirmation emails to these customers actually to show that I've got their order. Let me just do that right now. How do I do that? Yeah, I sent them order, order confirmation to show I've got their order again. To show that I'm doing it. All right, yeah. So I've done that, done that. So later on, when it comes, hopefully it comes by like four. Obviously, it's weird because I even need to ship out a wig to Tia. Like, how am I gonna ship out this wig to Tia? Oh, I'm stressed. I need to ship out this wig to Tia. Let me tell her if we can do another day. Let me ask now because, oh, you know what? Oh my gosh. 
I just messaged her because she's not going to get that wig in time. Stop shaking up yourself next to me like that, dog man. Every day, like, oh God, this is stressing me, man. taking my mirror off the wall because like I said I want to spray this mirror gold um, in this vlog and that's exactly what I'm gonna do I did order gold spray paint and it just arrived so I think it's the perfect time to do it the weather's not bad so I just quickly put on a vest and my yoga pants to go outside to spray paint this mirror however I tried to get rid of the frame you can't like this frame is bolted on so what I'm gonna have to do is probably slide pieces of paper there while I'm spray painting so it doesn't go on the frame. I'm sure there's a way to remove spray paint off glass, but to prevent it, let me just put paper, and obviously I don't want a lot of it to get on the glass, so. <sighs> yeah, let me show you what the spray paint's looking like. This is the spray paint that I'm using. I'm using a paint factory in shimmering gold. I hope it even matches. I hope it looks good, boy, because if it doesn't, we have an issue. But yeah, I definitely think this spray paint will be good. But my thing is, how am I gonna get like, I don't know, like, I don't know, what should I do? I'm, I'm gonna try and put papers now. I don't know, because I can't tape them. Because the tape can't go on the sides because this is what I'm spraying. Like, I'm spraying all of this silver bit right here. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think it'll look good. I'm just gonna show you guys the finished outcome because I can't be bothered to vlog during this process. Like, uh-uh. And then there's spray paint on my camera and now you guys have to get it cleaned <laughs> okay guys so it's a little bit later i'm in my office um i'm just currently about to set up my printer it's seven o'clock i've got my idprt printer this is what the box is looking like so i'm gonna quickly open this let's hope this works because i have orders to print and child they can't wait any longer even though it's only been the day, some people be taking like eight days. I need to get this up and running because it's really bothering me. I hate when things like it's just going wrong. Like, but yeah, this is my new printer. What the box or what should, what should I say? The bag is looking like the flat printer. So the other time I had a oval shaped printer. Now I've got a flat one. With this style of printer, the paper comes out of here. With my other one. You put the roll in and it comes out but with this one you feed it through so that's something new i'm gonna set this up and let's hope for the best because this needs to work it looks really nice though i like how simple it is and obviously i was always going for black flag as much as i'm changing my aesthetic into something brighter i'm always going for black and oh also it comes with some paper as well which is nice it comes with some um labels I've got a lot of label rolls. I have like a bulk order from USPS and some from Royal Mail from when I had my last business like two years ago. These ones are good because they're flat and the way this printer is, is flat. I'll show you guys if it's working. Let's really hope so because, mm-mm, child, I don't need no more problems today. This lady, uh, your name just came up. Billy Beths. So, um, I'm currently watching this guy's live called Josiah. Um, I think he's a pastor and I, did, I, I be liking what he be saying to be honest he don't be talking to me like he be talking to people in the live but I like what he says some my brightness is so off I like what he be saying sometimes but he really be praying for people anyways um my printer works this dymo printer child mm -mm, I need a clear out like my office room is packed look at these old pics like boxes oh lord oh my gosh remind me to clear out my sunglasses today because i have the little thing from that vlog still sitting there clear out this room i'm not gonna do it on a vlog because i got a lot of stuff but yeah i'm watching this guy this prophet 
and I'm packaging orders. My printer works, we praise God. It looks kind of cute. Uh, it's definitely not what I'm used to in my office because I like the Dymo one, but this one, it has paper and it goes in. Obviously, I'm not gonna use it like that. Like, I've got rolls. I've got a lot of rolls, actually. And I've got a stand for my rolls. And this prophet who's called Josiah on TikTok. And I'll be done soon. I'll be done soon, and then I need to do a foot mask tonight because I'm a kiyalai, my foot bottom, chai. I'm a kiyalai, too, and I'm foot bottom. I've been gymming it out, fogging it out. My foot bottom needs some TLC, so I'm going to use some TLC tonight to my feet, for sure. Oh, I need to show you my mirror as well. I need to show you my mirror. I didn't show you the outcome. To be honest, I should have left it. I should have left that mirror gold. Like, <laughs> I mean... What am I saying? Sorry, I'm just out of it. I should have left the mirror silver is what I'm trying to say, car. It's cute, but I feel like gold mirrors look better on black walls. I like it though. Comment down below if you like it, but we'll get to that in a bit. Like I said, if you want to shop my brand, you can if you want to. If you want to support, you can if you want to. The girlies are supporting. These are the orders I have to do. Ah, we're going to be running real low soon. We're going to be running real low soon. But yeah, link in the bio if you want to shop. Link in my bio, I think it's Instagram, sorry. <laughs> link in my description bio if you want to shop on the screen as well. Cause official. Shop your loungewear. Get your cute loungewear. Don't miss out. Don't be that person that tries to jump on a bandwagon months in and now you're struggling to get a set. Cause it's gonna get like that. And uh uh what do you call this again? Proof speaks for itself. Thank you. Okay guys, I'm back. Finished packaging my orders. I was literally just sending the wig to Tia and I realized that Eunice hair gave me a robe this time. The last time working out, I didn't get no robe. Oh my God, and it's pink. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is cute. It looks like it will fit as well. It's a nice fuchsia pink and then it has Eunice at the back of the robe Eunice oh that's nice because now now when I do my videos I have to do three TikToks for them so one tutorial one styling and then one showcase so when I get home I can put on the robe and do like a show yeah I like this, this is so sweet um they also send like wig caps as per usual wig bands a brush, lashes, and another wig cap. You know they always send their little bundle. But I really like that robe, so I'm definitely going to do my video in that. I'm, I'm back again watching the same guy I was just watching, Josiah, I believe his name is. But this time, we've made it to Instagram. I'm definitely following his prophecy. Give us great understanding about the grace. Oh, Father, help us from this day onwards to continually always walk in grace. And as we end this month of grace, we... We find grace before your sight. The name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Somebody clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, God bless you, all the members of Amen. PRM and Entam Revival. God bless you, course fam, wherever you are. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But yeah, I'm currently listening to him. I just have to turn him down so I can quickly finish up. Um, I'm going to do a foot pack because my feet are really bad. I would show you guys and do like a foot gear thing, but I don't even feel comfortable showing my feet. Like, I got no problem showing you my feet. Like, if I do my feet, I'll show you guys, but no. Nah, no, nah, like, no. Nah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing this honey and almond foot pack. I think I got this from Poundland or I got it from Superdrug. I don't remember, but I'm going to go and scrub my feet. I'm going to cut my toenails a bit. Um, Do a, uh, what do you call it? I'm going to do a scrub, moisture, and put these on and put some socks on and continue watching Love is Blind. I'm really kind of peckish. I had noodles earlier, even though I'm not supposed to eat that. My dinner! That's why I'm hungry. I haven't eaten dinner yet. Oh my gosh, that's why I'm hungry. I'm thinking, I'm kind of hungry. Like, I haven't had my meal prep dinner yet. That's why I'm going to eat that now and listen to this prophet. Um, and it's vegetable and chicken. It's the same meal prep I showed yesterday. Um, even though I didn't show you, show you, but like I showed the containers. And then I'm gonna watch Love is Blind. I can't believe I was watching it before. But if you have watched it, I'm on episode four, season four. The part where all the couples now see everybody in real life. And I think we're at the point where the white lady, I forgot her name, but she, the one that was originally on Kwame, she is now talking to Kwame saying that, you know, we did have a connection and the episode is called Playing With Fire, so. This is the finished product, Gold Mirror. It definitely adds some color to the room. I like it, it's just that there's still silver accents like that light and then I have one over there, so it's like, do I spray them gold? 
do I spray them gold? And then I low-key feel like this mirror look nice in black. One of my supporters did comment below saying to remove all the shelves. Look at my mirror. This is what I mean. Like, I cleaned it, but it's got so much smears. So please, comment down below how you clean mirrors. My mom's going to clean it, so she, you know she'll get it right because she just get everything right. But me, I can't do this. Anyways, someone did comment down below and they said... It said that I should remove all shelves in the room and one mirror. I can't remove all shelves in a room because it just looks too plain and I have nowhere to put that stuff. Like, I know it's stuff that you can just put somewhere else, but I really have nowhere to put it. And I really do like this shelf because when this light is on and my lights are off, it just looks nice. I definitely think my room always looks cluttered. I think the person said that my room naturally looks cluttered um, because of the shelves and stuff. I could possibly remove this shelf, but I think that shelf's actually all right. I don't know. Like, I just think it's okay because it has heels on it. It looks feminine. Maybe keep this shelf, remove those shelves. I don't know, but uh, if I remove that shelf, yeah, it's going to look ugly because this mirror will have to go on the wall. Like, it just has to go on the wall because then there's going to be so much wall space, nothing on the wall. I don't know. That's just not my vibe, but maybe that's why I'm struggling with a cluttered room maybe that's why but i do like the gold mirror it definitely adds some passage um it will look better on a black wall though but that's fine we got some we got some decorating coming up um i'm not gonna spoil it just yet so we can always do that type of decor in that place but um yeah i think i will remove this mirror though i, I definitely am taking that mirror down that mirror is gonna move somewhere else in the place i'm talking about so don't worry about that so the person that said i should remove a mirror that one's going so i'm just gonna have these two and then obviously my vanity but yeah, nevertheless, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next vlog.